World Tuberculosis Day, observed on March 24 each year, is designed to build public awareness about the global epidemic of tuberculosis, TB, and efforts to eliminate the disease. In 2012, 8.6 million people fell ill with TB, and 1.3 million died from the disease, mostly in the third world. World TB Day is one of eight official global public health campaigns marked by the World Health Organization, WHO, along with World Health Day, World Blood Donor Day, World Immunization Week, World Malaria Day, World No Tobacco Day, World Hepatitis Day and World AIDS Day. March 24 commemorates the day in 1882 when Dr. Robert Cook astounded the scientific community by announcing to a small group of scientists at the University of Berlin's Institute of Hygiene that he had discovered the cause of tuberculosis, the TB bacillus. According to Cox's colleague, Paul Ehrlich, at this memorable session, Cook appeared before the public with an announcement which marked a turning point in the story of a virulent human infectious disease. In clear, Simple words Cook explained the etiology of tuberculosis with convincing force, presenting many of his microscope slides and other pieces of evidence. At the time of Cox's announcement in Berlin, TB was raging through Europe and the Americas, causing the death of one out of every seven people. Cox's discovery opened the way toward diagnosing and curing tuberculosis. In 1982, on the 100th anniversary of Robert Cox's presentation, the International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease proposed that March 24 be proclaimed an official World TB Day. This was part of a year-long centennial effort by the IU Adled and the World Health Organization under the theme Defeat TB, Now and Forever. World TB Day was not officially recognized as an annual occurrence by WHO's World Health Assembly and the United Nations until over a decade later. In the fall of 1995, who and the Royal Netherlands Tuberculosis Foundation, KNCV, hosted the first World TB Day Advocacy Planning Meeting in Den Haag, Netherlands, an event they would continue co-sponsor over the next few years. In 1996, WHO, KNCV, the IU Adled and other concerned organizations joined to conduct a wide range of World TB Day activities. For World TB Day 1997, who held a news conference in Berlin during which WHO Director General Hiroshi Nakajima declared that DOTS is the biggest health breakthrough of this decade, according to Lives We Will Be Able to Save. WHO's Global TB Program Director, Dr. Aridakochi, promised that, today the situation of the global TB epidemic is about to change, because we have made a breakthrough. It is the breakthrough of health management systems that makes it possible to control TB not only in wealthy countries, but in all parts of the developing world, where 95% of all TB cases now exist. By 1998, nearly 200 organizations conducted public outreach activities on World TB Day. During its World TB Day 1998 news conference in London, who for the first time identified the top 22 countries with the world's highest TB burden. The next year, over 60 key TB advocates from 18 countries attended the three-day WHO KNCV planning meeting for World TB Day 1999. U.S. President Bill Clinton marked World TB Day 2000 by administering the WHO recommended directly observed the RAFI, short course, DOTS, treatment to patients at the Mahavir Hospital in Hyderabad, India. According to Clinton, these are human tragedies, economic calamities, and far more than crises for you, they are crises for the world. The spread of disease is the one global problem for which no nation is immune. In Canada, the National Collaborating Centre for Determinants of Health noted on World TB Day 2014 that 64% of TB cases reported nationally were among foreign born individuals and 23% among Aboriginal people highlighting TB as a key area of concern about health equity. Today the Stop TB Partnership, a network of organizations and countries fighting TB, organizes the day to highlight the scope of the disease and how to prevent and cure it.